petto puppies. She did really well. She had four puppies between 10.30 this morning and one o'clock this afternoon. We have two little girls and two little boys. And they're all doing really well. Mum's doing really well too. She's a little bit tired. She's up all night, weren't you? So was I. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep you posted. G'day guys, welcome back. Rightio. Now today is kind of a follow on video from that rainbow huge bowl that I made with the reverse ink drops. So I'm going to go again with that sort of idea but I'm going to put a, a 3D bloom on the top. So I'm going with the art class which is really really thick like honey resin. Um, I've got 40 grams in there. It's about one and a half in um, ounces, <laughs> I nearly said inches, one and a half ounces-ish. Um, so what I'm going to do first, what will I do first, what will I do first? Let's drop our inks in first, all right? So I've got, these are all Deco Rom, um, Deco as in D-E-C-O. So one, two, three. I think what I, I was thinking about my big bowl and I'm, I'm thinking that I put too much ink in um, and you know instead of being like a, a stained glass kind of look which is what I wanted it ended up being really quite quite dark um, yeah and I didn't wasn't really going for that I was going for a much more sort of transparent look so I'm um, <laughs> I'm going to put less ink in this time. With the last one, I kind of filled in all the the empty gaps. So that's the whoops, that's the ruby, and then I've got lemon. Oops, one, two, three, four. The, the yellows don't tend to show up quite as much, so I'll put an extra little drop in if I need to put more in. I will. Um, and then I've got avocado. One, two, three. I think I've um, oh, left too much space there just for two colours. Never mind. I might go and grab another, another colour. This is... Um, navy I'm going to go and grab another color to put in here and then I've got lavender just three drops of each color so I'll go and find um, I think um, another light blue or a turquoise I'll just be back I, I can't put you on pause got my gloves on um, this one, turquoise, it's called turquoise, so it'll do. I don't want to keep my resin waiting too long. Kind of rainbow colours. It's it's a bit tricky because you're not sure how much room you need, hey? Oh, I haven't done that one. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? You're all going, you missed one. Oh, I don't know. Missed one. Can't get the lids off. purple and then the navy so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour my resin in the middle and um, I'm just going to put another drop of the pink in I find the pink and the yellow they're never never as bright as I want them to be All right so that's that um, what I'll do is I'm going to pour I'm going to pour this in then I'll mix up my white okay so let's do that I'm just going to pour into the middle 
and hopefully we'll get uh, a pretty pretty design. Let me get a piece of paper towel ready to catch my, my drips. Right, oh gosh, how much do I need now? I'm just gonna pour. Oh, that's looking really pretty. Oh, now why didn't it do that with a big one? I have a I have a few hypotheses. One is obviously it's different inks. Two this is a silicone mold I poured onto, and the other one was a sheet of plastic. And three, I used the Let's Resin inks on the other one, and they're quite highly concentrated. And they don't, I found they don't spread as much as uh, these cheaper ones. These spread really nicely. I don't know about those dots on the bottom. It's probably because yeah see I'm learning as I go I should have dropped the inks in poured the resin dropped the inks in poured the resin because now I've got little drop stains <laughs> and drop stains on the bottom I'm just making sure that they're all even I may not need all this resin um did I tell you how much I made 125 grams of A and 115 grams of B is what I made and I, I don't need all that so let me just clean off my hands Get another piece of paper towel organised. All right, so give that a bit of a torch. I am going to pipe. I'm going to use the piping bag today. I wonder if I can... Oh, they're stuck on the bottom, those little... Okay, I'm going to try and wipe them. Come on, get off. Yeah. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Drop your inks. And then straight away, drop your resin so that you don't get those droplet looking things stuck onto your mould. Hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully it'll kind of blend. Why does this always happen when you're in a hurry, hey? I guess I'm, I'm still learning. You know, you do something new and you just have no idea how it's going to work out. All right, that's that. Hopefully that's not going to look too weird. All right, let's get onto the white. Look, it's only resin. I can do it again. I can do it again. Let's stir this up. I think I'm going to have to, like, do things a few times to learn from them. All right. Wipe, wipe, wipe the sides, wipe everything, stick it in. That's the Just Resin Titanium White. And a couple of drops. Um, well, I've got 40 grams of resin. I'll do four drops. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I always get my gloves stuck in there. Yeah, I really hope I don't, can't see those little dots stuck on the bottom oh never mind the colors look really pretty see that's that's what i wanted for the um for the big one but um yeah i didn't get it but look i've learned something from this um like i said do your drops um in one and then pour the resin in and then move on pour, put your drops down and then put your resin on um, I think that will prevent those little droplet forming things that have stuck to the bottom. Okay. Uh, where was it? Is it? Here. Of course, of course. All right. Now I've got my white. I'm just going to clean off my stick so that I can see what the opacity is like. I'm going to stir it really well because otherwise it'll leave streaks. Now these colours will pull in from the outside in like they do with um, all resin does and, and the blooms. That's why the blooms bloom because of the resin pulling from the outside in. OK, 
it's quite opaque <laughs> probably a little bit more opaque than what I was going for but look I hardly used any resin now let's pour that into there so because I've got the four coasters I did 40 grams of resin and I figured well 10 grams per coaster cavity I probably won't need all of that it depends really on you know how big the hole is that you cut in your bag it depends how many swirls you do it depends how thick your swirls are but look I'd rather have a little bit more than not enough I always say that so that's good um, now I actually don't know how long I, I mean I didn't wait I mixed up the resin and I you know I dispensed it or decanted it straight away so I haven't like waited any particular time um, however long it's taken me to do this is, is how long my resin has been sitting oops I didn't cut it I think that's a bit small probably going for three to four millimeters on that one alrighty so your resin shouldn't just rush out it should it should just drip slowly like that when you're holding it horizontally and then um, you should be ready to go alrighty so I'm gonna do just gonna do circles and I'm gonna pull the stick through last little torch all oh, those colors are amazing you guys oh my gosh all right here we go have to be a little bit bigger that hole I'm having to squeeze it to get enough resin out and because I'm squeezing it it's going jiggly make the hole a little bit bigger for the next one right up to the edge all right let's just squish that on the end there Take a tiny bit more out. And of course, the thicker your resin is, the slower it comes out. All right, next one. That's better. I don't know if you can see the difference. See how it's flowing out nicely? I don't have to squeeze too hard so that I'm not, I'm not getting the little jigglies. Whoa. Should make sure that I've got enough though before I go putting too many lines in. If I've got more, I've come back and I put a little bit in there, but I just want to make sure I've got enough to go around first. I have got a tiny bit of resin left. Hopefully I'll have enough. Now try and go the same speed with your circles. Uh, you don't want to drag because if you drag you end up getting like a thinner part and you want your oops that's touched there I don't like it when it touches you want your lines to be the same thickness all the way around so that they bloom the same if, if they're quite thin they, they, they won't spread very far if they're quite thin I'm a bit concerned I don't have enough now I have to stop and make up a tiny bit more white. Just push that down. Oh, so close, you guys. Okay, so I probably need like maybe fifteen grams per per piece. I do have a tiny bit of resin left. Let me just grab it. Oops, now I've got to shove my tissues into the cup. Hopefully it's still okay. I don't need much. Let's just pop that in there. A tiny bit of white.
probably doesn't even need that much. One little drop of this. Oh, don't you go in there. Oh, it's blooming already, you guys. It's blooming. One little drop of that. Oh, gosh. I make things difficult for myself, don't I? Running out. Now, I'm just going to put that same little bag in here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to going to pour in there. I really don't need very much at all. I don't even know if it's just going to work at all. My resin might be setting up already. I'm just going to try and pop that in there like so. Alright. <laughs> that was very makeshift, wasn't it? even bloom because the resin's getting thicker now but I guess it's a way to find out hey what will and what won't work oh my gosh oh my glove oh dear that, that's okay I'm gonna pull the sticks from anyway let me get these gloves off oh gosh days in the studio don't you where things just don't necessarily go right <laughs> that's okay if we can make the best of them if you're not gonna laugh you can cry right now then let's get more another little bit of paper towel organized I am going to give these a quick little torch because I can see lots of bubbles on top where I've drag that white resin through and it's created some bubbles all right so now that's already aiming that way so we'll let, let it do that so I'm going to go um, with I'll look at it like a clock so 12 3 6 9 so we'll go down or in I should say in 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 do that on all of them. In, in. Say it with me. <laughs> in, in, in. All right, there we go. Just wiping it between each one just so that I'm not transferring the colors into the other ones. I'm interested to see how much work time I've got on this particular resin. It's pretty cold. I think I'm going to go go in again split the difference and then the others I'll go out yeah, I'm interested to see what the um, work times like on this to changing another piece of paper towel But yeah, if I didn't have to run and get another bottle of ink, if I didn't have to stop and make some more white, you know, I might um, have it done a little bit sooner. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up over the top, like so. I'm not going to worry about cleaning it each time. Like that. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. I think it's best to go up over the top like that so that you actually get your little point. Because if you stop there, sometimes you just get like a blob. And um, there's no harm going up over the edge. Like you can, if, if you've got a little bit of resin that needs a little bit of a sand, then so be it. Do you see what I did there? I followed that <laughs> shape of what I already had, my little boo-boo. that there's a bit of a blob there well, I hope these turn out I hope they look pretty 
All right, there we go. Now, I'll give them a quick little torch and then I'm going to swirl the middle and then we'll be done. Done, skis. Oops. All right, um, I'm just going to start on the sort of the outside and come in. Start on the outside and come in. That way you don't over swirl. You know, if you start on the inside, then you go out, then you come back in. Just on the outside, come back in. That way, hopefully, it'll prevent us from over swirling. All right, you guys. Oh, that was um, that was rather messy. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. I think it's, I think it's blooming. Um, it did take me quite a while to get to the stage, so like I said, I hope I haven't waited too long and the resin started setting up, but we'll see. I know some of it's blooming, the outside. Oh, there's some sections there that maybe aren't as well, but we shall see. All right. Oh, I think I need a coffee. Oh, they look so pretty though. <laughs> All right. I will see you. Uh, when it's time to unmold definitely gonna do <laughs> definitely gonna do these colors and this technique again for my big bowl um, and use these inks because I just think they blend so much nicer than the just resin inks the just uh, not just resin let's resin they're um they're very concentrated but I think they kind of are more uh, they don't blend as much and because they don't blend as well, these ones are looking really pretty. What do you think so far? So you can see the edge there, they have bloomed. This side, not so much. I actually might get my heat gun out. All right, I'll see you guys when it's ready to unmold. So it's only been a few hours and uh, they are set up. So I'll have a look. That last little ring that I added um, you were looking at it the other way, but this is the last one I added because I ran out. It hasn't, it hasn't bloomed, so obviously the resin had started to set up. I've got some areas that have bloomed better and then others that haven't, so we shall see. Oh, look. It's one thing about the inks I really don't like. <laughs> they stain your moulds. But that's like trapped in the mould now. Like it's not going to come out when I pour in this again. It's not going to come out onto my next pour, which is good. I have to pick all these little bits off. All right, let's get them all out and then we'll have a little look, hey? A little look-see. Okay. Oh, look how bright they are. Where am I going to put this? I'm running out of room. Yeah, so it's um, quite a lot of staining, the blue and the pink. I can see but that it won't come out um, on your next piece now then so you've got a tiny little bit of overflow do you know how when I drag the stick up but it's easy enough to do like if you've got that all you need to do is get yourself a little nail file an emery board and just sand it off like so. It's not hard to do. It doesn't take a lot of time or effort or muscle. Just do that. Or if you don't want to have to do that, then, um, you know, don't pull your stick up over the edge. So up to you which way you want to go. Alrighty. Shall we have a little look? I've got my piece of black card here just so that we can have a look at the, the backs of them. Put those out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna put that over the top just so that we can have a look and see what it looks like with the black background. You can, if you want to um, do a top coat in, in black. I don't know if you can see, there's a tiny little lip there um, because the, the resin wasn't filled right up to the top of the mold, so it's got a little lip there. So you can, if you want to, just fill that in. Easy to do, the resin won't run off. Oh gosh, look at that. Look at that overflow there that I need to sand off bit bothers me <laughs> and because it's a big bit all right all right let's do this without further ado okay here we go 
Hope they look pretty. Oh, oh my gosh. That is amazing. Look at that. I wasn't really know, I didn't know what to expect, but that is really good. I've got my little white swirl in the center. Let's have a look without the black. That's without the black. You can see through it. And then obviously whatever you put it down on, you can see through it. So that's the red, that's the pink. The purple isn't very purple. Wow. What do you think, you guys? Oh, let's look at the others. Let's look at the others. Now this is the one that... Um, was it that one? Oh, I can't remember now. I've got a couple around the edges that haven't bloomed, so I'm not sure if it was because my resin, it could be a couple of things. It could be the, the edge there I didn't make like wide enough, so it hasn't spread enough. Um, or maybe it's got more ink. I have found that too much ink um, affects the way your bloom blooms. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know that it's like I did one swirl and moved on. So it's not like the whole thing wouldn't bloom, you know, if the resin was starting to set up. It's funny that it sort of bloomed in here and not there. But what I'm thinking is I just didn't put as much like wide enough. I did quite wide rings here. And then when I got to the edge, I was trying not to like get it stuck to the mold. So I may well have not made it as thick as it could have been. Let's look at the other one. Now, I think this was... I can't remember now which was, that one doesn't look as if it's bloomed very well. That's probably the one that I ran out of white on. So let's look at that one. I should clean my table. It's picking up bits. So there you go. Again, the purple hasn't really shown very much purple. It's more like red, pink, pink with a tiny little bit of purple there. But look at the colors. I'm really glad I added that turquoise. The turquoise between the blue and the green. It's really pretty. So yeah, it hasn't bloomed very well on the very outside there, but I don't think it's really detracted from the whole thing. I think they're still really gorgeous. Oh, I love them. I'm sure that that side's clean. All right, here we go, last one. So there's a couple of little tiny drops of ink that have kind of got stuck to the bottom of the mold. Look at the 3D in that. Look at that. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I did. I did more circles, probably closer together and thicker in the middle. And then when I got to the outside, they just weren't as thick. So, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Look at them. They're so pretty. Put them there for you to see. So that's what they look like. That one's got the black underneath it. Oh, that's so pretty. What do you think, guys? Let me know down in the comments what you think of them and whether or not that outer edge on some of them bothers you that it hasn't bloomed. It is what it is, you know. We all try to have perfect blooms, but it's a hard technique. It is. I still struggle with it sometimes. <laughs> and I've been doing it for like coming up for two years now, on and off. <laughs> all right. So that's them. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I certainly will be doing some more of these because I love it. Oh, wow, now that I know that it works, I can actually put a black backing on it. Love it. Oh, I'm so excited, so happy it's worked. All right, thanks for watching you guys. Love you all, take care. Bye for now.